My name is Nikki West. I work for Portland Audubon, and we're out here rounding up the domestic ducks and geese and finding good homes for them. Most of the domestics that are here in the park were likely dumped here from people that got ducks as pets and then realized that they didn't want them for whatever reason. Um, I've been doing a lot of outreach in the park and talking to people and hearing different ducks stories and I actually encountered one person that said that their family habitually on Easter buys a duck and frees it in Westmoreland Park. There's domestic ducks that uh, have been dropped off or come in in other fashions that it's not a healthy environment for the ducks to live in. So we came out and working with, closely with Audubon Society to, to they found the homes for them and uh, we with their help actually were able to round up some of the domestics today so that uh, they can get adopted out. We, we were asked by the city of Portland to come out and help them. They, they had a project scheduled for next year to convert this pond. We've been working um, all up and down Crystal Springs Creek to restore salmon habitat in the city and this is one area that we've been focusing on has been a target area because it's such a good opportunity to really restore access and also improve um, the, the kind of the public realm here because this is a park and it's a little bit overrun with ducks and geese. We thought we can really kind of fix some mul multiple problems at once. Restore the creek for, for, for humans, for hu fish and wildlife, and then also restore this park to a healthier park, make it a healthier place for people and wildlife. Some people do believe that they are either helping the ducks by feeding them and or they believe it is fun, but unfortunately there are several reasons why they shouldn't. The first is that feeding things such as bread is actually very unhealthy. It actually can cause the ducks to starve to death because it does not give them proper nutrition. Another thing is that it actually creates too high of a population and they don't migrate the way that they should. So this creates problems both for the ecosystem and for the animals themselves.